yesterday we found someone on uh, Facebook Marketplace who had some black walnut trees and wasn't planning on doing anything with them so he was kind enough to offer them up for free for anybody who wanted to come and pick them up before the squirrels got them. So we went out and uh, got us what about 30 gallons worth I think. Could have had more but we only had six buckets in the car but I think this will be plenty. So if you've never dealt with black walnuts before. I haven't until yesterday. When they drop out of the walnut tree, they look like this. Generally a little bit greener. This one's been down for a little while. And eventually they start turning black, like this. The first thing we need to do to process these today is to get rid of this hull. There is a regular walnut in a shell within this vegetative hull. These ones that have turned black, since we picked them up late in the season, are very easy to take apart. and pull the walnut shell out. Now we're gonna have to clean these really well and dry them. Uh, all of this material on here is very wet and if we don't pull it off, they'll rot. So we'll come back and show you that after we get them all open. Also, we'll be wearing some gloves because this makes dye. If you've ever seen uh, walnut dye, this is where it comes from, or at least where it used to. I'm sure it's synthetic these days. So after you've cleaned all of these off, you can take the bucket that the water is in from washing these and use that as a dye. It's uh, probably good for a lot of uses. I know I've personally used it in the past to dye my kind of bear traps. Um, works really well for that purpose. These green ones, they're hard. There's no getting into this without a knife. So what you would do is take a knife, score it all the way around the outside, twist the two halves and pull the walnut out of the center. It's still gonna have this vegetative material on it um, and it's probably going to be a little worse you're going to have to use possibly a scrub brush to get that off but we're going to go ahead and process all six buckets here going to get them all opened up put all the shells into a bucket and then we'll come back and show you when we start washing those so we're using these nitrile gloves pick these up at uh, harbor freight for two or three dollars they go on sale like every other month Here's what we ended up with. Looks like about uh, 12 gallons, maybe. Now we're gonna set to cleaning those up. I'm doing now is put the glove back on because I've got a bucket full of stain I just made. And what I want to do is go in here and pull off any of the nuts that are floating on the surface. Those nuts are no good. <laughs> Dog just found the electric fence. Well, way to go, Dum Dum. You won't do that again, will you? Come here. I know. So quite a few of these, as we were breaking them open, we could see some worms. They had uh, gotten through some of the shelves. Well, I'm assuming that's probably what's floating on the top here. All right, so this is the bucket of ones that were floating. They're no good. We're gonna go ahead and toss those. So the only thing we're gonna do now is uh, we've got a shipping container over here. I'm gonna lay out some unbuilt cardboard boxes on the floor, lay all these nuts out in a single layer on top of that cardboard, 
and we're gonna let them dry for probably the next month or so. Um, shipping containers airtight, so I'm not gonna have to worry about squirrels getting in there. And uh, I would film it, but it's dark in there. We don't have electricity. Um, one thing to be aware of when you're dumping out anything from these black walnuts is that they have a poison in them that will kill some plants and trees. Not all, but some. So I'm gonna end up dumping all these right here in the middle of the uh, gravel drive. I'm not worried about it staying in the gravel and uh, it's not gonna kill anything out here. And if it does, I want it dead anyway. And I think that's it. We will uh, probably do another video in a month or so when we start cracking these open. Thanks. I'm Andy. I'm Tia. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit the bell icon to subscribe so that you get notifications when we post new videos. And don't forget the thumbs up. Thanks. Thank you.